you guys are at the age right now where you can decide, you know, if, you're, if any of this seems interesting to you, uh, you can do it. You know, this, it's, uh, in middle school, you still have time to make uh, decisions that would take you in some of these directions if uh, it seems kind of cool to you. We represent a range of things that you can do that relate to space. So if you have interests in it, you can do it in a variety of different ways. It's not just you have to be an astronaut and try to go through all this training to be one of a couple of people in the world that can do something. I think space is a great topic to get kids interested in science. I don't know what it is, but it always grabs them. Mm -hmm. I, I too wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but then you can use it as a, an entryway to, to tell them that one of the most interesting things you can study from space is our own planet, which mm -hmm. is quite unknown still. Well, one kid want to know, is your job hard? You know, is it hard? But, but a couple of people seem to be asking, was it hard to get to do what you do? Which, which I thought was neat because it, it, it indicated to me that they were thinking about, well, how can I get to there? They're sort of thinking, of, thinking about the path. And, um, you know, what I told them was it's, it's mostly a matter of uh, perseverance. Like, it's, it, it's not hard in the, any particular, there are a couple difficult moments here, you know, where you have to pass some tests and you're worried and you can't sleep all night and you're like, ah, oh, what if I fail? There are challenges, but but mostly what's hard in the sense that it is hard is just that it takes a lot of years and just sticking to it, but that if you're psyched about where you're going, it's really not that hard. There's all this radiation coming from the sun, some of which would be very dangerous to you and other living organisms that we're protected from here on Earth by the atmosphere, but on Mars, with its very, very thin atmosphere, that radiation reaches the ground. We're interested in what that might do to possible organisms or possible future human astronauts on Mars. One of them asked me how long I'd been a geographer, and so I, I told them I would add up how long I had been a geographer, and so I was like, okay, well, I went to undergrad for four years, I went to master's for two years, I did six years for my PhD, so I, it took me 12 years to become a geographer, and I think maybe she was 12 years old, <laughs> so she's like, so, I was like, it wasn't that bad, I promise, it was a lot of fun, but it, w it was funny to tell her that it took me as long as she'd been alive to get to the job that I have right now. There could be things they think are not scientific that when you really think of it, they are, because science is about investigating, mm -hmm. you know, the world, the universe, and so there's lots of, but, but the whole passion, the idea that you really need to be into, you know, what is it that really makes you want to get up and do things. I think getting in touch with that early and making sure that they think that's okay. You know, like that it's okay to say, well, this is what I really want to do. If you know, if you know. A lot of people tend to think kids, space, got to send them astronauts. You know, that's what grabs kids. And obviously the notion of a physical adventure or going out into the universe, being Captain Kirk, being on Apollo, a shuttle astronaut, that is exciting. I mean, I was personally inspired as a kid by, by Apollo, I mentioned. But I think that the interest we got across the board and what we did, we were talking about this morning, indicates that it's actually much more broad than that, that you don't have to assume that it's only astronauts that grab kids and the fact that we're exploring and learning about the Earth and learning about, uh, you know, learning information that, that helps us solve human cultural societal problems and, and thinking about these, these important other questions about what's out there. Um, those uh, kid, kids obviously relate to all that as well, and it's not just the swashbuckling adventure part of it.